Right, I just wanted to quickly run you guys through my setup whenever I'm doing a high bar back squat. Okay, and take you through the key points, the things that I'm thinking about. So first things first to me, one of the main thing is, is I always take a really narrow grip when I'm setting up. Because I always find that helps me pin myself into the rack and stay nice and tight in the upper back when I'm about to unrack the bar. So I'll go narrow grip literally just outside the start of the knurling. But if you struggle with your mobility, you might not be able to get your hands that close. But the key thing is, is that you really retract the shoulder blades back and down and build a platform for the bar to sit on. Once I'm out and underneath, you'll see that I'll let the bar sit a little bit lower down my back even though I'm gonna let the bar rack in a high bar position. But I'm forcing my elbows back, very, not all the way up so the bar runs up onto my neck, but definitely creating a little bit of tension there and engaging the lats. Once I'm out, the key thing for me before I begin the squat is to take a nice deep breath and fill up. And I'm almost letting that bar rise up and create the tension there in the upper back before I be begin my squat. And in terms of where I'm focusing, I'm looking just above eye height the whole way through, because again, I want this to carry over essentially into when I'm cleaning, so I am gonna be a little bit more upright than what you're gonna see bass in a minute. In terms of my foot position, I'm going no wider than shoulder width, and I've actually got my toes pointing kind of five to one, I'd say, not, not too far off straight ahead, and then my knees are tracking out directly over my <laughs> when I'm going down into my bottom of my squat position. But you'll notice if you look from the side that my back here is still staying nice and flat in my bottom position and my knees are tracking over my toes. So from here, it makes it nice and easy to drive out by push, pushing the floor away with the legs. And I'm always making sure that I squeeze the bum and lock tight through the core whenever I finish my reps. Now this is gonna be different from what you're gonna see Bass do, so I'm gonna let him talk you through now how he would set up for his low bar squat and the key focus points for him. So I'm gonna explain what I do when I set up on my low bar squat. The first thing that I do is grab the barbell. It looks like it's quite wide for most people, but it's as close as my shoulder mobility allows. I want a close grip so that I can engage all the right muscles of my upper back. So upper back tension is hugely important when I wanna lift a huge weight. Every muscle underneath that bar, so from my back down, needs to be on. So start there, start with the grip, as close as shoulder mobility allows. The next thing that I do is I place the barbell on a shelf created by my rear deltoids. So it's about two inches, so that's the low bar, that's about two inches lower than the high bar position. I get my stance here. So my stance, my recommendation for stance is when you're using a hip dominant squat, which is what I'm doing, to use a wider stance so that you can give your hips room to sit in that bottom position. When the feet are closer, uh, it's hard for my feet to, it's hard for my hips to sink to that depth, which is just not as deep as, as Sunny just did, but it's hip crease below the top of the knee. So I need to create space for my pelvis to sit. So I stand with a moderate stance. Remember, wider isn't better. Um, I've had to work for some years to be able to develop strength in this stance, but that's what's comfortable for me now. So I, I get my stance, my toes are pointing very slightly outwards. For everyone, it's slightly different. For me, I don't like to point them too far out because the knees need to go in the same direction as the toes. So, wide-ish stance, toes pointed very slightly outwards. When I unrack, I'm focusing on pulling my elbows back and shoulder blades down the whole time, looking straight ahead. The way that I teach it and the way that I've learned it is that the body follows the eyes. So if you look down, that's where your body's gonna fall. And although Sunny's squat is more upright I <laughs> than my low bar squat, my, my torso is always gonna be slightly leaning forward, but it doesn't mean that I don't wanna stay upright. If I let my body tip too far forward, that much weight's just gonna push me over. So I need to focus, even though I'm in a low bar position, I need to focus on being as upright as possible. Then, to get to the bottom position, I focus on knees out, open, I think about a cue called spreading the floor, pushing my knees out and opening my hips. Allows me to sit in the bottom position with all of the right muscles on my hips. And then all I do, stand back up. That is a low bar back squat. Now I don't think Bass actually watched me do my walkthrough of how I was setting up for the squat and the key points, but I just stood and watched him film the last bit that you just saw. And it was so funny. <laughs> 
similar the key fundamentals that we had for the good squat in terms of making sure we were tight in the upper back, making sure the feet were pointing just slightly off center, making sure we're looking straight ahead. You know, even though the squats were so different, the key fundamentals of what we're trying to achieve to create a good squat were very similar, which I, I find really funny because you don't really see that because you see the power of this squat and the weight of this squat, they're so different. Fundamentals the same. Sick. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of these, then make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.